So what was it like working on Ball Breaker? You engineered and co-produced that album. That was a difficult one because we started that one in New York. Uh, they had started a week early before I could get there. So between Rick Rubin and uh, uh, some other engineer guy, they had picked the studio and they started doing it. And I remember getting a call from from uh, Angus saying, you got to get out here now. Uh, I don't like what's going on here. So when I got out there, you know, they were trying to get Angus to plug through a pedal, you know, and <laughs> he goes, I don't use pedals. And we'd done it at the power station which uh, in their big room was a big round domed room. So it's you know famous for its ambience and all that. Well, they wanted to do a very dry in your face record and we just could not dampen that room down. So I guess they had prepaid the studio and the studio was not going to refund money. So we sat there for six weeks trying to get a drum sound, kind of get any kind of sound. And after six weeks, you know, we had played through every song and, Tried that. We even tried putting burlap on the walls. Uh, I remember Rick got a big uh, circus tent brought in so we could mm. put it around the drums. You name it, we tried it to, to deaden that room down. And so after six weeks, we finally pulled the plug and we went to LA and then we had to redo the whole record. So I remember just all of us just being really down about that because, again, they're a band that just let's play the songs a couple times, keep them fresh and up and happy. And now these things. We'd already already done the record once it felt like and now we had to redo it again so that one was was a tough record to do uh though you know once we got rolling and with the sounds we all wanted then it was back to being you know business as usual but uh just having that six weeks in front of it was just it was a tough one Not for sure and i wanted to ask you about ball breaker in particular because you know on all the records you're an engineer but on that one you're listed as co-producer and having recorded the record so what did you do differently on that record for you to get those different credits? Well, it wasn't really that I did anything differently. It was um, uh, Rick had a lot of other things going on, I guess. So he, was, he wasn't in the studio a lot. You know, he, we'd, we'd all show up there at noon or whatever and to the drums, to the guitars. The guys would sit around smoking and then Rick would show up at six or seven o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And, oh, let's, you know, play. And, okay, so they'd play. And then that would be the next day we'd come in, same thing. So, you know, I finally got the point. I said, well, why don't we just play it down, you know, record some stuff. And then when Rick comes in, we get stuff to play him. And, and Mal Lang didn't want to do that because he said, well, we're paying him to produce. So while we're playing, because that's when we want to capture this stuff, if there's anything that he wants changed, I want we want to do it while we're playing. We don't have to go in and edit and punch in and do all that stuff. So we're going to wait till our producers here. So that just went out on for a long time. So finally we just, you know, got to the point where I was kind of helping them <laughs> along so that we could get this record done. And it wasn't, you know, until we we're in LA that we started sort of clicking on some things. And then even when we we're in LA, I think Rick was starting to do stuff with the chili peppers in another studio. So again, he wasn't there all the time. So they just said, fuck it, Mike, we're giving you, the, the credit <laughs> you know you're here the whole time so that's cool. so it wasn't that i did anything different it was just they were kind of captainless <laughs> hey but i mean you steered the ship and that's pretty cool so yeah. you know when you know we're heading for the Plato's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny man someone from bc would say that you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you know when you're engineering from what i understand engineering essentially is recording the band correct that that's yes. what the act of it is right yeah so yeah. So why is it that you're listed as engineer and recorder on that record? Like two different credits, but it's the same thing, essentially. Would you know what, why they would give you two different credits for, for that? Engineer, so what's the, what's the credit? It's, it's, it, says, it says you co-produced it, mixed it, engineered it, and recorded it. But engineering okay. is recording well, that, it. That's sort of a bit of a misprint. Then it should be recorded, mixed, and produced by or whatever. Like recording and engineering are kind of the same thing yeah um you know sometimes i'll have an assistant engineer well that'll be my assistant that's helped me so you know but uh i guess that's sort of a missed thing yeah no, same it. thing yeah yeah so do you remember working on hard as a rock hard as a rock yeah yeah what was that like that yeah. process and, and, you know it's a, a cool fun little song i thought and i love the little riff thing and you know, harder than a rock. Just Brian's sound on his vocal on that one is, is pretty cool. 